C100. And look who is back after a nice little absence. New kids on the block back at C100. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, yeah. Up. Oh, Gentlemen. We, we up in it. <laughs> could, and it's good to have you back. Yeah, wow. man. It's good to be back. It's so you go and, and you take a massive amount of time off and you hang with your family your other relationships and you got other things going on and then you're back together as a as a unit as like you know this mm. group of people who have been together for a, just a giant portion of your lives yes we have does it does it just like all happen again naturally or is there like you know time to like regel mm, it really doesn't take much time at all it takes a few seconds somebody mm -hmm. usually says something funny and everyone's back to their old selves it's Will been you 28 see? years, man. How many years? We're older than dirt. Shut 28 up. Years. <laughs> 28 years. 28. 28 years since the group was yeah, formed. We were together a few years before we got a hit record, so yeah. we we're like little tiny babies. <laughs> well, you all look fantastic. You I guys know, look great. Still, it feels like, like yesterday. Thanks, I don't know what you've been bro. doing. I don't know, microderm abrasion, but you all look fantastic. A little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Reg reg it's, it's funny. Like Regular people will go back to their high anal school. Anal bleaching. It's, it's what anal bleaching. Anal bleaching. That, is, that is perfect. And really you look and smell you fantastic. You look and smell fantastic. Start at the core. Yeah. I mean, yeah. so many people, including a lot of your fans, yes, the core. So many people, including your fans, <laughs> dread going to high school reunions because there's that, oh, I'm going to look, I'm just not going to look like I used to in high school. And you guys have maintained just this, you know, must be the fame and the power and the money because you guys are, are doing really well. You look fantastic. I want to go to a high school yeah. reunion. No, Has anyone ever gone? No. Did you ever go? No. Uh -huh. I, I want to go too. one day. My school, a bunch of slackers in Maryland, we never had a reunion. Yeah. No, my school. I had the school where like all the kids like left school and started selling math. It was like the Breaking Bad school, the Breaking Bad Academy. Yeah. So like they just they just didn't. No one ever really did anything. Mm -hmm. It's sad. I think I might be the most successful person, which is not saying a lot. <laughs> that it just the you know the, the fact the fat guy in New York City who talks to the famous people. I'm like the mm -hmm. hero of the school because I wasn't selling math, mm -hmm. which is just strange, you know, right? What's up, Oakland Mills? So you yeah. could be the kingpin. Then. Uh, Apparently, I am. You could go in there Do and it. just take over. I know, right? I might organize a reunion. There's a TV so can, show here. There's the, a the, TV show. You have, Radio I know you have DJ I know you who is selling crystal meth on the low. Yeah. <laughs> in what is it? Spilling Mills? What? Mm. Oakland Mills. Oakland Mills. Mills. But they were spilling Mills as well. That was <laughs> that was happening there too. So this new album mm. gets put together, and you guys like at what point? I want to hear how it happened. Okay, where this you have this long absence. It's been a few years. Five years? Four years before you started working on the new album? So, well, we've been together touring still. I okay, mean, so there was, I know there was the touring yeah. and stuff too, but like the process of going back in. It's been a minute. Yeah. Who makes the initial phone call? Okay, we got to get the band back together. Very Blues Brothers reminiscent. We, who makes that first phone call? Well, we were very like Donnie said. We're very much together because mm -hmm. we we had some great tours in the last five years. But we knew that you know our last album, The Block, um, which we loved and served us well, and the fans loved. We wanted some fresh music. I mean, music is a big part of who we are, and we and it keeps keeps it alive and um so there were some rumblings but like everything it just takes on a life of its own mm -hmm. and then here you are and the phone call is made you start recording and you've got the single remix out right now and the video tremendous job with the video thanks i mean open up with that that nice lady who looks like she was on my big fat greek wedding she looks like that like yeah. that kind of same right. character who kind of goes through a metamorphosis so all of a sudden she realizes well hold on it doesn't have to be like this i can go and you know thus the meaning of the song i can yeah. change my life did i get that right is that yeah. pretty yeah. Awesome. Good. Oh, absolutely yeah, yeah. yes he, knows what he, he heard the song unlike so many others who try to interview us and don't know what they're talking about <laughs> this is amazing no, everybody's cool. felt that way at some point everybody oh, sure. felt that way when you were the only one not selling crystal meth you felt that way in high school right so we've all felt like the you know the the wallflower not like cool enough and it's it's you know the song a lot of people thought it was just going to be a video about like you know sexy chicks walking down a runway and sort of a predictable thing but we really wanted to make it yeah we wanted to make it something that everyone could relate to because everyone's felt left out at some point sure and you see it you know, like on social media too the people who put the, the cry for help posts up there you know it's like the people stuck in a they got out of a bad relationship and they feel like they can't change so it's empowering it's good yeah, yeah look at like you people everybody on facebook others. yeah i know right every you're like everybody on facebook yeah, exactly is it, it's got to be so weird from where you were to where you are now with just like the people want the social media interaction it isn't just like come and see our show okay show's over let me go live my life it's yeah. i have to be on social media yeah. i have to let people know what i'm up to 24 yeah. 7 live with us <laughs> yeah, I, pretty much. Yeah. Is it annoying or is it kind of an, is it? Uh, well, everybody has, I mean, it's probably a good good kind of uh, sample of five different guys deal with it differently. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, we all love our fans and we all connect in a different way. And I think like anybody else, you have to be wired a certain way to just, you know, connect that way. And uh, But we're lucky that the internet came along. I think that was a big part of us coming back together.
I don't have a lot of artists come in, legacy <laughs> artists, such as yourself, saying, we're lucky that the internet came along. Yeah. I've never heard that in an interview yeah. ever in my seven that years in C100. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys. No, that's great. We're lucky that the internet came along. There's awesome. this thing they call the World Wide Web, and we <laughs> really use it for all it's worth. www.wow.com. Yeah. So I'm guessing that most of you do your social uh, interaction. How many hands in the air uh, have... Re, you know, re, replied to fans, discuss things with fans while in the bathroom to allocate your time while oh. in the bathroom. Hands in the air, bathroom oh. tweets. Nice! Good hey, man, nice. I'm keeping it real. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. It's been one of my greatest time, talents man. in the last four years is how, that I have not ever tweeted a picture of me sitting on the throne. Because I, I, I always take one and I'm like, this is the time me I'm going to take a picture of me <laughs> taking a dump. <laughs> And I never send the damn picture. It's I got I got send control. Yeah, you're holding. You're I, probably taking the picture and thought I own this moment. There's 800 pictures of me dumping yep. in, this, in this iPhone, and I, I never it. sent it. I never sent it. This is a movement of epic proportions. <laughs> yeah. It takes even more willpower not to be really impressed with what happened. To go, oh my god, I got it. No, right. Uh, that's yes. only for you. That's yes. only for you. And then yeah. you tell others, or we you know, show each other that stuff. Or some of us, or yeah. your significant oh, others. Danny you leave us. it there. Me yeah. and Danny. Danny, shit. I've seen a few. Pictures of Dan, oh, sh- that Danny. Shut took. up! This, I, wow, you guys know you're Come tight on. when the picture's being sent like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, hilarious! The, 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 the ball? python around the Oh, ball. yeah, yeah, that's great! <laughs> Come I didn't on, want to man. say it. Yeah. Danny, he, say Danny it. shows the other guy's pictures. He shows me the actual item. He'll bring me in the bathroom. Dude, look! <laughs> Dude, look. look at this spike That's I left in the quote. T- You're like a poop ambassador, man. Check this out. Wow. It's a brotherhood, man. It's a brotherhood. Yeah. See? My five year old does that. But yeah. Well, <laughs> your other five year old does that as well. I, yeah. It's, uh... Thank, hold on. I'm writing some now. Things I never thought I would talk to. Yeah. 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 Were we just saying Thank we goodness the that? internet came along and let's look at each other's turds. Speaking of that, so many of your early singles sound like they could be apps on an iPhone today. Like there could be an app called the Please Don't Go Girl app where, like, you, you know, you can find, you have your girlfriend's phone and you can find out where she is at any given moment. That's a good nice. app. Yeah, hang, wow. hang and Tough also could be an app. So these, you guys were like innovators in the sense that a lot of your early singles sound well, like wait, they what could would be. The, what would the what Hang would and Tough app do? Yeah, what yeah. would that yeah. do? Okay, Hang and Tough, I was thinking <laughs> nice. about this last night, what the Hang and Tough app could be. I don't want to say a penile enlargement app, but right. it, but it very well could be, or right. uh, an app as well for maybe a, like a workout, some sort of like you know uh, some gym app or something, so yeah. you can hang tough with others. I like, the right I like the please don't go the, girl the, the, right, app. the right stuff yeah. could I don't know. It, that could, the, I like the right stuff. Right stuff could be some sort of self esteem booster app where every day you look at your phone and it compliments you unnecessarily just so you feel better about yourself. <laughs> yeah. Don't you love how I can think about these things on the fly? This is awesome. Yeah, keep throwing yeah, singles. I'll throw what the app could do. Give me five percent. That's all I want. Step by step app. Come on, let's go. Let's get it done. Let's market it. I wish I could write code, but I can't. That would code, be like a I workout can. one. I like, see, there you go. Yeah. Or like a map. It tells you where to go, like mm-hmm. how many steps. Like a hot stop. You, you can find the nearest subway. Gotta, yeah. I like that, too. That's good. Mm-hmm. Or where you're from, the T. Uh, so you you see all these other artists come about, and they, they come and they go, and you you don't have the longevity that you guys have. What were your first initial thoughts when you saw the band One Direction, like, blow up out of nowhere? What were your first thoughts? Nothing. <laughs> no, not no, man. Man, goes, man. The music business goes in cycles. <laughs> sure. So we've seen it since we broke up in '94. We saw the Backstreet Boys in sync, 98 Degrees, Boys to Men. You know, all these groups do things. So it, when you see a group like that comes out, they it goes in cycles. So it's not very surprising. Is there though an initial kind of like an alumni going back to high school where you go back and you see the people in your high school and you're like, oh, whatever, we had it so much better. We were, we were so much better than these people. Is there like a certain like, oh, come on, really? Well, you, initially, there has to be that thought when you see these bands on the scene. You're like, oh, well, we. They're young, I don't think. Though, they're, yeah, yeah, we don't really. really f- I mean, it sounds like we don't follow it. It's not, not that we don't appreciate what they're doing. I mean, because to make it in the music business, no matter what you're doing, is 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 quite admirable. So, but we're just not at a lot of One Direction concerts to check it all out. Yeah, Jordan right yeah. now is tweeting One Direction yeah, from his phone. Young. He's going, they're, they're, this guy at Z is totally goofing on you right now. He's trying to make what a stage. What is that? Totally trying to... That's a charger. <laughs> it's oh, one of those things, too. Like, we when we came up, we were, we were My like, uh, we got real Charging famous, and every, like, Charging old Charging. teen idol was interviewed mm-hmm. and asked their opinion of us or give, what, what's your advice to which they responded? Kids? They always had some bull- to say it was just I like know I just didn't want to hear. I know it. How it's Enjoy turn your out. 15 minutes while it yeah, lasts exactly. and stuff like that. It's like it's some right. of the guys were cool. Like I always remember the guy uh, Mickey Dolans from the Monkees was always like super cool. Like he'd always mm-hmm. say cool things. But yeah, one of the Cassidys was like a punk about. Yeah, it. Yeah, but it's like we're when we're kids, him. man. You know, it's like we're 18, 19, 20. No 20 year old wants to be told. You know, it's like it's like your parents tell you what you're gonna you're, you're not gonna grow up to be anything when you're 20. You move out of the house at that point. Yeah. You don't want to hear that. And yeah. so like. 
I think our reaction is typically we don't want to tell these kids what what we went through. It's like they're going to experience it for themselves, and they want to experience it for themselves. It's a different world. You know, it's a different world now than it was then. You talk about the internet and all that stuff. When we were around, when we first came out, there was one MTV. Mm -hmm. There was nothing else. And you there had to be Z100. on it. There yeah. was yeah. There was MTV. I mean, you know, you went to certain places and that was it. And there was only room for us. There was not room for any other boy band or anyone doing anything like us. That was it. I mean, there wasn't even room for Tiffany. When we came along, <laughs> we like wiped her and Debbie Gibson out. Like everybody went There was a crime scene. There's a chalk outline. Yeah, but there was, only room, it. there was only room for one Debbie like, too, man. You guys just killed it. Everybody. There should be a trial. Everybody went by the wayside. <laughs> the hell? But now, you know, a few years later when Backstreet Boys and Sync and all these guys, there's like five groups. And now there's like, it could be 50. It doesn't matter. It just, it is what it is. Every every cycle is different. Every generation is different. Every generation of kids wants to have their own thing. And the last thing their fans want to hear is a bunch of, you know, older guys, you know, dumping on their group. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's like, let them kids do their thing and have their fun and, and good luck to them. Let, let's drop a couple of pebbles, speaking of dumping on this real quick. Okay, thoughts on oh, no, Justin Bieber. has been a big Yeah, big, subject, big poop man. conversation yeah. here with new kids on the block. <laughs> yeah. Justin Bieber, out of control? Do you see him spiraling? You've been around a while, so you've seen artists. See, again, do you, do you I think hate he's to be the guy no? who doesn't Go ahead. Like, like pay attention to this stuff, but like, no. You know what I mean? And I know we're in the industry, and I appreciate that it is an industry, but like when Britney Spears shaved her head, like, Big deal. You know what I mean? I get that that's a big story for Us Weekly. And mm -hmm. I get there's a whole machine there and people get paid a lot of money to do that stuff. But, like, I, I think he's going to be okay. I Either he's not going to be okay or he's... Really I think she really spun out of control. But maybe not yeah. Bieber. But... but <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. The point is, I you think all have your she, she was a little bit. Yeah. But here's my opinion. Here's, let little. me say this, and I'll and I'll move on all right. to someone else. Good, but I think that if you're gonna be a drug addict, you're gonna be a drug addict, whether you, you know, lay brick or sing songs. You know what I'm saying? And if you're not, you're not. I mean, yeah, he's going probably through a tough time. It's not easy. Do you think it's drugs? What? What? what no, 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 okay. no, no. I'm just making it a point. If, yeah. if you're gonna, if you're gonna, you you are who you are. You're gonna deal with it in different ways. Yes. Or night. Like, <laughs> yes. What did he do besides Except, yell at that guy, the paparazzi yeah, dude? What else, what else did he do? Oh, he, a monkey? He, uh, no, he was racing his car around the, the, neighborhood. the neighborhood. Okay, that's. He took supposed, his shirt off in the airport. He oh, wore like he a crazy gas mask. Oh, he wore a gas mask. Yeah. Here's the thing. Yeah. I did an interview the other day, and they there was a, I, apparently an article, which I still haven't read, where it said, is Justin Bieber the new Donnie Wahlberg in terms of, like, he's out of control and famous at, like, 19 no. years old. He's he Yeah, he's got his own thing, certainly. But um, I think the one difference, though, is we were a group. I mean, we were... We kind of, uh, we were a healthy group, too. As much as we fought and as much as we didn't get along all the time and stuff, we kind of always kept each other in check on some level. I mean, it was always sort of like, at some point, you had to check in. And that's the only thing that I would be just worried about him with is just, he's alone, you know? It's yeah. like, hopefully he's got Plus, a, you had the support of each other at the same time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which we could is, talk about to do it, it yeah. alone is like... Yeah, it's tricky, exactly. man. It's like, I don't, I don't... I don't, I mean, there, we know there are times we probably all wonder what it would be like if it was just me by myself, you know what I mean? You, there's a lot of things you wouldn't have to share, like the money and all this and that. <laughs> it's like, uh, hi, Jordan. But, What's up, buddy? But hi, we enjoyed each other, What's man. Up, buddy? We, we, we had each other and we had each other's backs. And, uh, and you know, it just sometimes you think about a kid like that. I mean, he just went from obscurity to like, you know, it's. Every single pair of eyes pretty much in the world is on him at any given moment and it's gotta be a lot of pressure for him and you know, uh, yeah, hopefully he'll I'm get not, through it okay. I'd be surprised I'd I'd be surprised if he wasn't. You know, he's a normal nineteen, twenty year old kid, you know what I mean? Doing stuff let can you imagine let's all take a moment and think of what we did when we were twenty years old, like the dumb stuff that we did. Pretty yeah, and we yes. did. He has we, to do it in front of cameras. We and were DMZ. famous and did it, but there wasn't no. It wasn't as much. There was no yeah. internet. You, you, internet. You, there was no internet. Inter there, was no, there was no internet. There was no video camera. You had camera to do some real crazy phone, right. stuff Ish. to get news yes. back then, like light a hotel on fire and stuff. Really? That, what did that? I missed that. When was that? Was there that? was no fire, man. Oh, I was I innocent. It. I was innocent. You, you discuss, uh, you know, issues within the band years ago. W was there ever anything physical mm. between you guys, like, punch, like, like up against the wall punches? Was there? Oh, hold on, you're giggling. <laughs> I it would have been sorry. if I was a little bit bigger. There definitely would have. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, did you get picked on? Well, a little bit. I mean, Donnie and I would go at it because of whatever reason. Over was, what? I was a little kid with kind of a big mouth and a big personality, and Donnie was, you know, is is a great leader. But lots of times, you know, we would 
you know, kind of bump heads and stuff like that. What did but, you? Can you remember a time that you said something to him that pissed him off? That like all the time. Exactly. <laughs> can Do I you remember, remember what time it was? When I what was it? Yeah. But it was. What it, was it? It was normal stuff. I mean, I was four years younger than the rest of them, so. It was a different dynamic. It was weird. I just had this picture of you just holding him up against the wall. And just you know, other guys going. Yeah. Yeah. I saw Joe pop- get strangled one time on the bus. What? I'm sorry, <laughs> but not <laughs> by me. Yeah, I strangled him. Yeah. <laughs> I was. I rolled out of my bed. I just woke up and you were strangling him against the wall. <laughs> I did. Yeah, I remember that. In the bus. I, I, I must that have one of those things. Like, uh, yeah, down, yeah, blacked out. Yeah, 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 I was like, what happened? Subjective memory. Oh, Joe's getting strangled. You know what? You know what? I sound like a. I sound like a bad. What you say? I was like, what happened? I sound like like a battered wife but he never really hurt me too bad no no he never he never i mean he never hit me like hard or right. no, no, he never he hit me like hard he didn't oh batter God. him you're Listen, in denial did you, did you ever cry from the abuse did you oh, ever all cry? The time. oh God. oh oh i was 12 years oh, old man yeah. I was, story i was Jesus. it was also just fitting in it wasn't Jeez. just donnie it was just fitting in sure i, mean, I it's remember a whole other story jo- but- jo- Attack John on the bus. That's the only fight I remember. That's what? the only physical. Jo- jo- this is horrible. John I get into it. I can bus. tell you the story. No, well, I know what you're talking about. We're going to talk about Joe that likes, off the We air. were all sitting up because in the front of the bus. I think about it all the time. And Joe was like in the captain's chair, and John was back, I think, or vice versa. No, he sudden, said something about Joe just came flying out of nowhere, like, <laughs> and just attacked John. <laughs> if you didn't know anybody, you why, though. I tell you this why. sounds like like roid rage. Sounds like someone's using steroids. Hulk angry. Nah. This it's, it's, it's just no. like brotherly fights. Yeah. It's all good. But like yeah. I said, I was real small, so they never, they never like physically. So we were bullies, is what he <laughs> said. <laughs> he was real small, and we picked on him. We oh, I did. Jeez. It was natural. It wasn't. So you, it wasn't anything. You see all these anti-bullying PSAs, and you guys, you guys, are like, what? It's good. It made him the person he is today. Joey's no, fine. It wasn't no, like that. The no. thing, the like thing that. is though, is that it's you know none of us are in this group by accident, and the one thing that always sort of, you know that. We were older, and we were in the group. We were sort of the group before Joe was around. I mean, there, there was an existence of the group for like a year or two before Joe showed up. But he wasn't in the group by accident. You know, he's talented. He has ideas. He's, he's you know, he's a force to be reckoned with. So in those early days, it's like, you know, we're the older guys, and he's the little guy. It's like, you know, know your place. But, mm-hmm. you know, he had he belonged in the group. I mean, he mm-hmm. has talent, and it wasn't going to be denied. And so it was just a matter of, us all learning how to get our vo- and that was really for the whole group how to get your opinion in without overwhelming people how to you know we all had to learn to listen right. too i mean everybody can talk but we all you know had to learn how to listen that's one of the things i think that being apart for a lot of years helped us with when we came back together i think we listened to each other better well said and just so we know it's fine when you're in a band bad when you're the coach at rutgers <laughs> yeah. basketball coach. okay all right nice. yeah that's that's awesome Continued success on everything. Can't wait to uh, mm. to hear the rest of the album, and the tour is going to be amazing. You guys are going to have fun on this tour. Thanks, this is come come on the road with us. Man. Oh, yeah? All right. Come on. You can make me drive the bus? Come on. <laughs> yeah? I don't know. Yeah? Let's work something out. I, all right. I, I will be your new biscuit. I will go, and I will travel with you. New we'll do biscuit. security. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hey, Dude, can I tell you, I bought the re- I owned biscuits in the house. I biscuits, bu- biscuits in, in the, the house. house. Yeah, buddy. I had that record. <laughs> Yes, I was, a ice, I was an ice rank DJ. Instead of selling meth, I was an ice rank DJ. Yeah. I played your music, and uh, I actually played Biscuits music. And nice. I noticed when I played your music, people would escape. I, pu- I popped on Biscuits track. People would go to the snack bar. Biscuits so. track, though. Biscuits song. There's a story to this. Was mm. was on its way to become like a huge hit record. Who stymied it? What it, happened? The record company was just, it was the same record company as us, and I think mm. they were like, okay, this cannot happen. Yeah. <laughs> we cannot. It wasn't because it was going to upstage us. It was like, we can't. Like have this become a hit record. Like it's just gonna just whatever credibility we're hanging on to with these kids, mm. it's gonna go out the window oh. if their bodyguard has like a number one record. Oh, he never knew. So poor biscuit. He never knew. But at least he's not a one hit wonder. No, he's good. He's right. a no hit wonder. No, it's good. I guess that's better. It's half yeah. A hit yeah. Wonder. yeah, yeah. Awesome, gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out and just and talking. And this is you got it. One of the best interviews I've done in a long, long time. So. You're the man. Thank you. NKOTB guys. Thank you. Thank you.